it's just crazy to me that black men we treat black women better than any other race treat their women. You know what I'm saying we hold our women in such high regards, you know, compared to any other race. Now, before I get attacked, oh, no, black men treat black women like shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Let me create some clarity behind what I'm saying. Now, I know by now everybody done seen the uh, Black Panther movie. And a lot of a lot of women, you know, got empowered by it by seeing uh, the King's all-female protection squad, the Wakandan women, finest warriors, you feel me? They got empowered by that, seeing women... Fighting, you know, holding their own, being powerful. And even though the movie is fictional, that aspect of the movie isn't. Dating back years ago in Africa, the, the home of Amazon from the Fanu tribe, that was a, a tribe part of the military. They had women that would fight, kill for their kings, for their chiefs. You feel me? Now this tribe was huge, like thousands of women, like thousands, thousands of women fought for their kings, fought for their chiefs, and died. Now these warrior women weren't by force, they volunteered to join the military, they volunteered to be a part of the fight. Now since they were women, they had to go through like severe training, you know, more intense than the men because like their physical at, uh, their physical attributes wasn't as high as men are, you know, because of, of a woman's stature, right? women are, aren't built like men. So, you know, to get them involved in a fight, any kind of physicality, you know, they would have to up their training. So they put them through so much vigorous training to get them right. And some of the training involved uh, them killing other women, but for the sake of their country, you know what I'm saying? Now, I know everybody called, well, I wanna say everybody, everybody ain't black, but I know a lot of black women call themselves Nubian queens and Nubian goddesses and this or that, but really have like the lack of uh, of knowledge behind that term. Not saying all because, you know, a lot of people are well informed, but there were actual warrior Nubian queens called Kendaki, which also mean queen mother. Now, this is just historic proof that black men held their women in such regards. Now, you can even look at statues. And look at uh, look at the uh, ancient statues, and you can look at the queen and or um, king side by side, and you always see the woman hand placed upon the king's back to show support. Now, look at any other country, you know, across the world, their representation of the female isn't held as high. Now, fast forward today, you feel me? The black man always, you know. Say our black queens, our black queens. You know what I'm saying? A lot of guys get carried away with it and use that term, try to get pussy. Our niggas ain't slick, but uh, a lot of men say that, you know, and, and we do. But how often do you see a white man say our white queens or our Asian men saying our Asian queens or even you know era like their representation of a woman is completely different. We hold our women in such high regards and we show so much respect to our women. That, you know, other cultures are jealous. Other cultures do, don't like that. So they, like now, fast forward now, you know, we have um, here in America how it seemed like society tried to, to, to tear that, that that bond between a black man and a black woman apart. You know, and that, that, that's been going on for, for a while. You know, it's just crazy. Society made women forget how important they are to a black man. Forget that their job is to be that support system for that man. But the woman have to understand and use discretion when it comes to choosing a black man. Because it is a lot of black men that ain't shit. And that will tarnish a woman's outlook on a black man. And make her feel like all black men are the same. But you can't have that mindset because everybody isn't the same. You feel me? But I understand that you might run into a, a few of the same type of people. But having that mindset you still have to adapt and separate yourself of those type of people and especially if you allow yourself to you know invest time invest money invest a future in that person you gotta do a thorough background check not just like online but i'm saying like pay attention to their characteristics pay attention to their traits how they are when they get mad how they are when they're happy 
you know, what are their goal paths, you know, what are their what are achievements they're trying to reach. You got to understand all that. Not just because they treat you right and uh, they make you smile and make you feel good. That does not make him a good m- uh, man. You know, he exhibit good man traits, but it doesn't give me a good man because a good man is a leader. And if a man doesn't have a goal in mind, if a man does not know where he's going in life, how the hell is he going to uh, lead you? Lead your family to where y'all going in life. Just because he treats you good is more to it. And some women can't handle that. Because society made it seem like once a man is mind strong about certain situations that he's this and he's that. You know, the man is just passionate. You know, and some people forget that that's how it works actually. You know, the man's supposed to have a plan. Once that man has that plan, the woman understands that plan. Now, if that woman decides to be with that man and agrees with that plan, then she rides that wave. You know, but a man shouldn't even be looking for a woman if he does not have a plan. He needs to find himself first. So everything does not fall back on the woman. It, it, it also falls back on the man, too. But ladies, you guys lost your way. You feel me? If y'all kept that cultural, that, that, that whole support your man dynamic, then, you know, things would be different but nowadays these women today are selfish it became a, from a black movement to a black woman movement you feel me and it, it's not to fight for equality that wasn't a goal no it's just to build your empire you your family build your empire it's not to fight for equality right now this day and age we should give a fuck about you know being accepted being this or that no you use your resources that they're giving us now build your brand and let it grow, you feel me? You do not need acceptance for that at all. But the black women today are selfish. It's all about me, me, me. They even address their kids as my kids. When they're talking to the father, it's just crazy sometimes. But that's just the black women liberation going around to hate black men. How the culture, well I won't say the culture, how society painted. The black man as a threat, the black man is evil, the black man is all this. Man, in reality, the first part is right. They look at the black man as a threat. And women, you're supposed to get behind your black man and support. Because you know when he had that ruling class mentality, he's going to take over. Get behind that man and support your king. And society also paint that image of the deadbeat black father. But when you really do your research, you feel me? Black fathers are involved in their kids more than whites, more than Asians. I think even more than Mexicans, if you really look that up. Feel me? But it's just the whole Jerry Springer and all the reality show and everything that they, they, they want you to see. And it's kind of like programming. They program you to see those images. But when you really look behind that and get deprogrammed and look at actual facts, and you'll see that the black father isn't as bad as the media portray. But they want to shame the black man. And they're programming the black women to go along with that movement to also shame that man. So if the black man already don't have the white man with him, you know what I'm saying? Now we don't even have the black women with us. It's just us. You know? It's just crazy. And we hold y'all to such high regard for us to get that in return. It's just it's fucked up. It's really fucked up. You feel me? And not all men are, are good. You feel me? Not all black men aren't deserving of those queens that we ask for. But like, again, ladies, you got to use your discretion to identify with which man that you want to submit to. And that's another thing, women, it seems like black women now, it's hard for them to submit. A lot, a lot of women get offended when you break down the word submission and when it says obey. And out the gate, women, oh, does, you not my daddy, blah, blah, blah. Like, that's the simple-minded woman. That's a simple-minded woman. But again, you chose that man. So if you chose that man, why the hell you can't obey the person you chose? You're not forced to be with him. You chose that man because he does this. Because he displays attributes that you know you need in your life. But yet you feel you cannot obey. Why? Because society made it seem like it's wrong to obey a man. Uh, Obey a black man, I'm sorry. It's just crazy. Like, ladies, you got to get it together. You feel me? Just get back to the culture we had where black women come together instead of nowadays black women are always in competition with each other. Back then, black women used to be united, a sisterhood everywhere, but nowadays, two black women can't even stand aside of each other. 
You just got to get back to basics. Ladies, when it comes to picking that man that you choose to lead your way, just use discretion, you feel me? Let me think long term. Don't think because he makes you this and because he makes you that at that point in time. Got to think of longevity, you feel me? Now, if that man can take you to the promised land, ride that wave and know your role, you feel me? Like, respectfully, I disagree with the man and woman are being equal because, no, I don't think they are. And I think everybody knows that. Everybody knows the man and the woman aren't equal, no matter how much they want it. But the true woman knows they're, they aren't equal to a man. But they're not lesser than a man either. Just because they're not equal doesn't mean they're lesser. If that makes sense. You feel me? The man has more on his plate. The man has more responsibility than a woman. The man has to provide, to protect, to be a great leader, to be a great example. You feel me? He has to show not only the kids, he has to show the woman. That man has daughters. He has to be that great example to give his daughter to know what to look for in a man. You feel me? That man has to treat his wife a certain way so his daughter can see that how a man is supposed to treat his wife. So she know what kind of man to look for in the long run. Because the last thing a man wants is creating a bad example. So his his daughter storm out into the world and run into a bad example. And that creates a whole nother life that could have been avoided by being a great example for your kids. And like I said, statistics show that the black man is more involved in their child's life than any other race. Like, that's crazy. We just need to get back to our roots, get back to our cultures, and come back together. Black men, we're doing a hell of a job letting our women know that we hold them so high. Women, we y'all just gotta open your eyes and realize that you know we are doing it. You know, we can't make y'all see the picture if you don't open your eyes. You know, and it's painted vividly, but it's like society has put this cloth over your eyes and jaded your whole thought process. And make you think how they want you to think. And you got to snap out of it. To find somebody to do right by you. That treats you right. Has a plan. And trying to execute the plan. That's the man to have. You know what I mean? Get behind your king and show support. And guarantee it all pay off at the end. You must know my good friend Pedro Morales, my Gonzalez, Morato, Molasso, Molastos.